That certainly was neat. I imagine if you can use a windmill to turn a dynamo, uh, generators you like to call it, you could use a water wheel to do the very same thing, couldn't you? Did anybody ever tell you you're a genius, Ben? Well, I... Come on. Let me show you how we use the power of water to make electricity. Here's what could be the strongest power we've seen yet, gravity, in the form of moving water. As you know, gravity makes water move from a higher place to a lower place. Good old Sir Isaac Newton. Ah, yes. I think I know what you're getting at. Moving water contains a lot of energy if you know how to capture it. If you can make the moving water turn a turbine, you're in business. Exactly. The water comes down from the dam through the penstock, and the Pelton wheel captures the water, spins, and is connected by a shaft to the generator. It's simple, and it works. The key to small hydro, though, is making sure that you don't negatively affect the river system by diverting or damming the water. Fish migrate up this river, and they need to have clear passage to their spawning grounds also. This is terrific! There are so many, many ways to turn a turbine. Where wind or water pressure aren't available to push the rotor, we can always create our own steam pressure, as you've mentioned. But I can think of some superb ways to get steam directly, without burning anything. Solar heating would be one, and, and the other, well, ever heard of Old Faithful? Brilliant, Ben. I can show you examples of both right here in California. Here, look down there. That's a giant solar thermal plant in the desert. It does exactly as you suggest. All those mirrors concentrate sunlight on a tank of fluid. The boiling water turns into steam, which in turn turns the generator. One good turn deserves another, I always say. Impressive. Now, what about Old Faithful? Well, look who's here. It's Roseville Electric's Green Energy Coordinator, Bev Van Arkel. Hi, guys. Hey, like the new look, Joe. Thanks, Bev. Say, what are you up to? I've been checking out the Calpine Geothermal Visitor Center here in Middletown, California, and this is a wonderful place. Want to go inside and see how electricity is generated? Well, come on. With geothermal energy, it's the Earth's steam that turns the turbine that makes the electricity. Watch, I'll play the part of the steam. Pretty neat. Way to let off steam, Bev. <laughs> Thank you. Ben, this is how almost all the electricity we use today is generated. It's really simple. You use a conductor of electricity, such as copper, spinning through a magnetic field, and this gets your electrons flowing. There are all kinds of ways to do this. You can burn fossil fuels to make the steam, or you can get the steam direct from the earth. Exactly. You figured out that in order to generate electricity, you have to turn a shaft and it doesn't matter what you use to do so. I'm proud of you. This clean, free energy source in the form of steam comes up through steam wells. The vapor passes through a steam turbine designed to handle very hot gases and high pressures. The rotating steam turbine then powers an electrical generator. Spent steam passes through a condenser. A condenser is a device that cools hot, moist gas or steam to the point where it turns into water and cooler gas. The water then goes to cooling towers where about 75% is evaporated as part of the cooling process and 25% is injected back into the steam reservoir. Geothermal power plants are highly reliable and can operate 24 hours a day. Most power plants operate more than 95% of the time. Geothermal energy offers a large source of secure domestic energy. At Roseville Electric, most of the energy we purchase and provide to our customers on the Green Energy Program is geothermal. However, in order to meet Roseville's new renewable portfolio standard, we plan on purchasing wind, small hydro, and solar as it becomes available. That's a superb idea, my dear. You know, in my day, there were windmills and water wheels everywhere. If only I discovered the dynamo, we could have used them to put the electromagnetic force to work. Now that would have been an American revolution. Hey, don't be so hard on yourself, Ben. These things take time, and none of us can do it alone. I can't wait to show you the latest technologies we've come up with.
Well then, let's not dawdle. Lost time is never found again, you know. Until we meet again, Beverly. See you, Bev. Goodbye! Have fun! Now this is a horse of a different color. Well, this is a photovoltaic solar energy system. It uses the photoelectric effect that Einstein discovered in the early 1900s. The word photo comes from photon, or sun's energy, and voltaic means electric power, like volts. So photovoltaics means power from the sun. And that is just what happens here in this array. These photovoltaic modules, PV modules for short, convert photons from sunlight directly into electrical current. The modules string together to make an array. I see the array faces south. Very practical. You capture more of the sun's energy that way, don't you? Exactly. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west, traveling in a southern arc on this side of the equator. So to capture the most energy, you try to find a place to mount the solar array so that it receives the most sunlight throughout the day. We call that the solar envelope. The slope of the array is important too. When the modules are directly incident to the sun, you get the most energy possible. The great thing is that solar panels even work on cloudy days. Direct current electricity from the array passes through this inverter where it's converted to alternating current and sent into the grid. This system produces 130 kilowatts, enough electricity to power about 100 homes. Currently, PV systems like this provide about 1% of our great nation's electricity. Now, that may not seem like much on the face of it, but... Ah, yes. We must always remember, Joe. Little strokes fell great oaks. Right. Ben, the, the beauty of PV is that it's modular and can be used in many different ways. As a carport, a parking lot shading device, integrated into the roofs of buildings and used as a building design component. At Roseville Electric, we offer our customers an incentive to install a PV system on their home or business. Plus, their government tax breaks, too. Seems a good deal to me. No taxation without electrification, I always say. At Roseville Electric, we believe in a clean, renewable energy future. And we believe that future is now. Very good, Joe. Never leave till tomorrow what you can do today, I always say. Using nature's forces to produce clean, renewable energy every day, it's good for the environment and good for the economy. Well, it just makes common sense, Joe. I'm glad to see that you've realized that it's time to wake up. Wake up, Daddy, wake up! Wake, wake up, up, Daddy, wake huh? up! Oh, hey, Joe Jr. Hey, Kevin. Wow, you guys will never believe the dream I just had. Yeah, there was Ben Franklin, and he had a magical kite. And then I showed him a wind farm, and a solar array, and a geothermal facility. And, and Bev was there, too. And she showed us how steam could come up from the earth and, and turn this giant turbine, and it would, it would spin a copper coil and, and magnets and make electricity. And then we were flying through the air like Superman, and there was thunder and lightning all around. And it was, it was real scary, and the rain was flying.